Welcome back team and this is your Friday yoga practice for full body strength, full body sculpting and of course full body flexibility. Let's begin this session as always by setting loving and nurturing intentions for this practice. So go ahead and close your eyes or keep your eyes open if it feels better of course. Bring your both hands up front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. In the next exhalation, find the big, beautiful smile within your heart. Spread this smile inside your body. Radiate that smile through each and every pore of your skin. Let's set an intention not to judge, not to compare. Just treat our physical body with love and kindness no matter what. And let's open our heart for learning for growing and for exploring, using every single challenge as a stepping stone. And with that, let's open up the eyes and rise and reach all the way up. Inhalation through the nose and exhalation through the nose. Of course, if it feels good, go ahead and connect your both hands above your head if that's available. And bring your arms along your ears, guys. Root your sit bones and reach even taller, lengthening through that spine all the way through. And slowly, guys, on exhalation, take your hands up front of your forehead. We we'll begin today in a crisscross legged position. If this position is not comfortable, you can sit any other way. Reach all the way behind and express through the chest even more. And one more time, guys. Inhalation, push the hands forward, lengthening, and on exhalation, all the way, arms above the head. Let's go ahead and switch the position of our hands. If you can bind those hands behind your back, guys, don't worry about it. Just do what you can do. Shoulders down, chest up and lifted, and we just opening our chest. Preparing for somehow joyful and of course challenging practice guys. See if you can fall forward with me. If not, just continue to sit where you are and take your arms even farther back up. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Very nice. Let's go ahead and undo that bind and we will continue our gentle yoga warm-up dance. So put your hands straight on the side guys of your body and make sure that you actually doing your lateral bends. Try not to fold forward at all. We're going straight through the sides of our body. Keep that extended arm which is over half extended and strong and continue to bend on the side on your exhalation. Let's give it a few more. Inhalation through the nose and exhalation. Try to make sure also that you sit on the both sit bones equally. And let's do it one more time on each side. And we will hold in this a little bit longer. It doesn't have to be definitely your elbow on the floor, only if that's easy for you. And go ahead and do the other side. Hold your palm on the ground or palm and elbow all the way through, making sure that your sit bones grounded. Coming back to the center, guys. Go ahead and reach up one more time. And this time we will bind on our elbows. Just like we do in our cat and cow, we will continue to do this seated with our elbow bind today. Go ahead and release those arms to the front, scoop the stomach in, and on exhalation, all the way expand. And let's do it just a few more times, lengthening, expand here, and gently send your belly down towards the back. Definitely, guys, close your eyes if that makes your body feel good. Try to enjoy every single movement of this practice. And let's give it a one more time, all the way, reach up and open. We are ready to take just the one hand all the way behind, not too far and not too close. And go ahead and move that shoulder away from the ear, 
just open up for me. Just do it this way, open, open it only if that's comfortable. Go ahead and bring your hips in off the floor. Expand, bring in, breathe out. If your one shoulder, wrist and elbow is not ready for this, then do the both hands. Hold this arm behind and all we're gonna do, we're gonna reach with the other arm and find right above your elbow. Not on the elbow itself, but right above. And continue to open up, just up towards the ceiling. Your shoulders, your back, your wrist, and slowly let it go, guys. We're ready to do the same thing from the other side. Put your hand behind your seat bones, not too far and not too close, in a comfortable position. If you will find this is too much on that one arm, you can definitely use your both arms or just sit with your hips on the floor, guys. All right, let's slowly return our hips back and we take this extended arm all the way behind the back and we bind right above our elbow. Take your chest straight to the center and continue to open. Very, very good. All right, and we have one more seated flow here for our hips and for our back. So all you have to do is continue to circle right above your hips, relaxing your upper body and allow your shoulders, neck and back and arms move together just like a concert all the way with the press inhalation and exhalation. And let's do one more circle in this direction and when you're ready go ahead and switch direction of the moon. Maybe you want to close your eyes and enjoy it even more. There is always much less distractions, external distractions to our eyes once we close them. All right, let's do one more by move one, all the way, inhalation, inhalation, and we're ready. Make a transfer to our sitting, to our kneeling position. Kneeling position. So go ahead and Set your wrist, elbow and shoulder, one on top of another. And we will continue here with a gentle cat and cow, just like we did in the seated position with the elbow bind. Take your time. We're just gonna go slow. And if it feels right, expand the movement, make the movement a little bit more bigger, wider, broader. Maybe your body wants to hold the asana in one place and move a little bit faster through other flows. Always listen, guys. Always listen. You don't have to follow through my press freedom through this practice. I want you just to feel good. And of course, I want you to do a little bit more than what is just comfortable. That way we grow, we expand and we improve. All right, my friends, stop right here. And we go for the next flow, warm-up flow, gentle flow. Press your palms into the floor and take your body to up dog or cobra. Up dog, that's when you raise the elbow and shoulders stack one on top of another and the cobra when your hands slightly farther away from the base of your body. So it might be challenging for some, even those two even the cobra so put your elbows guys on the floor put your elbows on the floor we're gonna give it another flow or two and again please try to listen to your body to your spine if something doesn't flow smooth do not just skip it right away give it a little stop and try to feel what the body trying to tell you on this one all right let's return back to our kneeling position and now we're going to our forearms just like we did cat and cow we do just a couple here a little bit different for chest and shoulders definitely 
we still continue to open and getting ready for more active part of our yoga session today and team stop right here go ahead and reach your one arm off the ground it might not open really wide and this is totally okay so reach all the way as far as you can and then go ahead and set your hand behind your back or even maybe towards the inner thigh all the way opening keep lengthening and we do exactly the same from the other side open it up first give it a gentle rotation through the hips and through the lower back and then go ahead and take your arm behind the back or even towards the opposite inner thigh if you can guys breathe in and breathe out very nice let it go and come on back up to your kneeling position take your right arm forward and left leg back we're ready for the long beautiful extension Please make sure, guys, you're not just holding it, but you're lengthening and extending with each and every exhalation. Take a deep breath in. On exhalation, prepare for your first push up. Come on down and hug your ribcage with your elbows, guys. Prepare to come back up and drive your knee towards the nose. All the way nice and slow. We're gonna do one more push up this way. Push down, exhale. Take your time, stay right here. Come out earlier if you need, or put your right foot right above your left knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Come on back up, knee. Pull the weight towards the nose or whichever place it's gonna reach. Very nice. Open up and down one more time this is it and we're going to take this quick push-up flow from other side as well extend your other arm and leg your left arm and your right leg right now if you're following me breathe in breathe out lengthening guys don't just hold prepare for the push-up Pull it up and dive down for the first one. Hug your ribcage with your elbows, guys. Take a deep breath in. Come on, back up. Exhalation, knee towards the nose. Very nice. We're gonna dive for another one like this, a little bit longer. Hold. Come on now. You can finish your push up earlier than I do. You can follow me and put your Pose on the right foot and the left foot all the way to the right leg. Come on up slowly. This was a strong hold. And around your spine. Relax your neck, guys. Do it a couple more times for your cap and cow. We're gonna stay just a few more breaths on the kneeling position to do the lateral. Bends. Try to look behind towards your tailbone and do your best to keep your hips stable. Hips on the one place, it's just through the waistline. And give me one more on each side. A really good one for the digestive system. And come back to the center. Prepare to hover, my friends. If you're not practicing the hover, then definitely tabletop. If you have a wrist injuries, it would be worth a try to do it on the face or on the forearms. Stay with me, guys. Just a few extra breaths. Exhalation. Extend your knees. Your first number facing dog today. Let's come through a few guidelines, a few little Little adjustments to make this downward facing dog even more comfortable. Make sure that your hands, your palms, guys, shoulders width apart or approximately there, your feet, hips width apart or approximately being there. Move your body weight away from the hands, elbows and shoulders all the way back. 
for my beginner students make sure that you bend your knees guys you bend your knees just like this and you squat slightly back your back is your number one priority guys so keep your knees bent as long as you need and as well you can rest any time you want in this practice in your child pose for my intermediate and advanced guys we rest in a downward facing dog go ahead and raise your right leg guys we will continue with dynamic lunges outside of our hands today reach and step guys step outside of your hand maybe from first step maybe not from the first step and hold it for just a breath or two take a deep breath in prepare to step back to your downward facing dog other side take your left leg up and step forward outside of your left hand hold the hands on the floor guys or even gently push inside the inner thigh just a breath or two we're gonna do it one more time from each side we will need our hips open to continue with this practice all the way step outside of that hand guys and gently push inside the inner thigh or hold your both hands on the floor and step back to your dog one more guys reach breathe prepare to step in on the floor hold the hands on the floor or slightly gentle push into the inner thigh very nice go ahead step back to your downward facing dog let's give each wrist a little rest reach all the way towards the opposite direction if you're not feeling safe team standing on three points dog you don't have to you can do it on the kneeling position or just hold your regular dog or rest in your child pose while we're doing this this practice for everyone practice for everyone I want you to get stronger that's why I need you guys to push a little bit more than just a comfort rest when you need all right send it back and prepare to walk with me towards your plank towards your plank guys are we ready for the gentle knee touch on the floor our power arms in top just a gentle almost like you're ready to push up but we are not doing those and top guys very strong give me two more and top and one more prepare for your strong chaturanga team you can use your knees on the floor and in fact i want you to use your knees on the floor if you can do your push push up full push up hold roll up through the toes up dog or your cobra reaching up with your heart and we're going back to our downward facing dog very good i'm ready to take you for the first standing flow go ahead and take your right leg up expand first guys give me a gentle rotation through the hip you got this come on back and step guys to your low lunge to your low lunge we will progress in this low lunge but let's begin right here and i want to remind my beginner students or just for those who have some minor injuries hips or back it's always a good idea to gather two blocks one on each side and use them guys and you can even do your shoulder rolls with your blocks you will be just doing one at a time one at a time holding one hand on the floor and let's reverse the direction all the way breathe in we have a couple binds here which you always can opt out take your hands behind just like we did on the warm-up and extend your arms behind your back Pressing. and of course if you need your blocks on the floor you will be doing your forward fold with your hands on the ground without the bind 
We take our four half on the ground if that's available, maybe on your block if you're almost there. Take a deep breath in, continue to expand for the arms. And on exhalation, guys, come back. Take your both hands and frame your front foot. Tuck your toes and extend your back leg. This is your preparation for your runner lunge. Take your time, find yourself really firmly grounded and we take up to the runner lunge underneath us. If you feel this is too much, come back to, towards your mats and put your knee on the floor. Keep your knees strong and extended at the back if you're doing this. Come on up guys with me, inhalation and exhalation. Open up your arms, express through the heart. Come on up guys, breathe. breathe. In exhalation, every single movement, let your breath to guide you. Breathe. I know, I know it can be very challenging for the legs, even without the weight. Stay with me guys. Frame your front foot. Step back your Chaturanga Dandasana. Ashtanga Vinyasa transition is totally optional. Put your knees on the floor. Skip the push up and meet us in the dumbbell face and dog when you're ready. Let's calm down the breathing. Take your time. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the nose, my friends. Close your eyes. You can always rest in the child pose. Always, anytime you have to. This is your practice. I want you to get stronger. That's why I'm pushing you through. I want you to get more flexible. That's why I'm making you hold those asanas for longer. But you can always, and you have to listen to your body. Go ahead and reach your other leg up. Take a deep breath. Expand first, look underneath. Open up the with the left and then step forward, guys. Step forward to your low lunge first. Make sure that front foot and back foot are pretty far away from each other because you need to have a good distance in between both feet where your hips reach those arms up, use extra little knee pads if you have to and definitely use your low steps. Mm -hmm. Reach up. We're gonna give a gentle shoulder rotation. This is it. One more. We are not in a hurry. We have full time in the world. And we first guys the movement. Very good. Try to go through the full circle for the shoulders. Excellent. Very nice job. Go ahead and prop yourself with your hands. Give it a little break if you have to. And then you can decide if you're going for the bind with me. If you definitely need to use your hands on the floor, just look out. Hold the hands behind. Hold your hands on the ground, guys. Or on the blocks. Forward hat, top of your hat, maybe even on the floor. Eyes extended for my intermediate and advanced practice. Take your time. And then we're slowly returning back and getting ready for the runner light. Orange and you guys can prop yourself nicely. We're not in a hurry to get up. If you will need to come back to your kneeling position, you can always do it. And slowly, guys, come on up for your runner light. We're going to flow a little bit here. Come on down. Come on up. Exhalation. Open up and express. Keep your balance. In order to do that, we definitely need to breathe. This is a strong flow, but at the same time, we need to stay relaxed. I know it's easier to say many times than to do, but even challenging us and I remember can be relaxing and joyful. All the way, put your hands back on the floor. Prepare to step back. Your chaturanga is optional. 
Come on that one. Hey, all the way, meet me guys in the downward facing dog. I'm gonna give our wrist a gentle break. Let's go ahead and step, walk, or hop to the front of our mat. And I'm gonna do it to the center so I can see you better. And reach them halfway through. Just a halfway through if you're holding your hands on the floor, right? And you're able to look up front with a neutral spine, that's awesome. But if not, you can always put your hands on your shins. Let's go ahead and fold for a bit, hold together. My beginners, stay where you can, in intermediate and advanced. Go ahead and give a gentle hug to your legs. Relax, inhalation, and on exhalation, we go for another halfway. Let's go ahead and bend our knees and sit ourselves in a gentle squat before we come to the chair. We're doing that so we find that good squat first and then just from the hip flexor, start to carry out your arms around your ears. If that's not possible or it's definitely hurting your form, you're feeling that your neck is not feeling good, your body folding forward, then take your hands up front of the chest. Breathe in, breathe out, prepare to give me a good sweep. We're ready for the back bend guys of your choice. Some of us need to put the hands towards the lower back. Come on back and fold forward with me one more time for compensation of the back bend. We have two more gentle chair poses. This time we will Pick the right foot guys off the floor and squat again into the heel. Lift up and all together we will place the hands up front of the chest. Take your left elbow outside of your right knee. Try to stack your wrist and elbows one on top of another. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. And go ahead and find the chair pose first. Reach, guys. Exhalation, forward, full press. Look halfway through. This time we bend our left or opposite to what we did. We squat into the right. We reach up. Let's bring our hands up front of the chest. Go ahead and rotate and open up looking opposite direction take your time to find the proper alignments make sure you're not holding your breath and then come on back we're ready for another back bend reach guys hips forward to your stop put your hands into your back just like you're sending them in the back pockets of your jeans And come on back, exhalation, all together, relax your head and neck, halfway, let's all together step into the plank. On a slow, controlled descent, I'm going to meet you on your belly, just like this, all the way guys. Go ahead and take your feet slightly wider, we're going to go for the cobra pose with a wider legs stands shoulders up back and down draw your elbows slightly in towards towards your body slightly inward breathe and let's do it one more time shoulders up back and even try to feel imagine that your shoulder blades sliding down towards the lower back expand the heart and look it up And look above another shoulder. Very, very good. And one more, guys. And one more time. Good job. All right, come on down and bring your belly, guys, on the floor. 
We're practicing today a white knees, white knees, bow pose. If you know what practicing your bow pose, you can do one leg at a time, or at least reach to your ankles, put your forehead on the floor and hold. For everyone else who does, keep your feet strong, arches of your feet strong, inner thighs up towards the ceiling, express through the heart, lift and lengthen in, breathe in and breathe out. Shoulder blades connected, inhalation, exhalation, stay with me guys. And another breath or two and slowly come on down. We making a transfer for very much needed emergency almost downward facing dog so go ahead and make your transfer your way it doesn't have to be all the way from the up dog to down dog to its rear kneeling position and take your time rest in your child try to make sure you first go for your downward facing dog let's bend one knee at a time breathe in and breathe but we have a great balance today to practice as well but before that we still have some work to finish here on a standing asana go ahead and lift your right leg up guys today we're practicing triangles warrior two triangle couple binds all right let's step forward all the way Maybe it's a one step, two steps, or even more steps. Find your runner lunge for it's just like we already practiced today. Find a good quality runner. Reach arms up. Inhalation. And on exhalation, remember like we did a bind in a low lunge. We're gonna come for this one more time. It's optional. Put your knee on the floor as well if it's needed. Go ahead and dive down. Take your time. Breathe in. Breathe out very strong. Come on up. I know your legs on fire. Prepare for your warrior two. All you have to do is to pivot and plant equally both feet guys take a deep breath in keep your legs active both legs active arms long and extended breathe in guys breathe out go ahead and take your left hand behind the back towards the inner thigh breathe in guys breathe out see if you can do a little exalted warrior Coming back up, we're ready. I know you're ready, I'm ready to extend our knees. Take your palms, guys, up towards the ceiling. Extend your bows and knees and slide gently through the waistline. Just a gentle slide through the waistline. It's not much, just like this. If you feel you can't reach the floor now, you need to use your blocks, guys. That's really important. If you still don't have your blocks, your option is your leg. Make sure if you're reaching the ground, your hips are not all the way going backwards and you can open it up, stuck your one shoulder on top and another, and just enjoy the asana. Anytime you feel that you're losing your balance and you really need to rest, go to your child pose. Maybe not from the first call, right? Make sure that you hold it a little bit longer and push through a little discomfort. That way we're getting stronger. Go ahead and come back to the front. We have our side angles stretch. So take your hips back to the center if they were misplaced a little bit on the translation and we fold it forward. Just like a regular forward fold, guys. I want you to make sure you're folding forward through your hip flexor. This is it. Take your time, guys. 
inhalation, exhalation. We keep holding it, I know. Take your time. Keep your front knee soft and extended. And let's slowly send our knee back on the floor. We push our foot forward and we will hold this foot grounded for right now. We're gonna flow in between our low lunge just to give that front leg a little rest because we're ready to take off for the good balance and then shift your hips back. Try to make sure that you stuck your back hip right above the back knee. And again, guys, flow to the front. Hold the foot connected with the floor right here. And flow back all the way. Let's do it one more time. All the way down. And all the way back. Let's leave the toes right now. And we fold forward just like we did in the standing position. Take your time. Just like a wave in an ocean, slowly, gently descending down. Be kind to your body, guys. Be kind, be loving. Not necessarily gentle. I want you to be gentle in certain times, but I want you to push. Push a little bit more than feels good. All right, let's go ahead and transfer it back. Before we come up for the balance on this right leg, which is up front, I need us to stretch our quadricep a little bit. We're practicing today our Hachindrasana half moon. Simple variation, maybe with your hands on the floor, lean guys off this knee, all the way off that kneecap as well. We need to lean forward. And this is not one of the feel good stretches. All the way, so we're practicing our Hachindrasana, single leg chair pose. Then we're gonna go for dancer, and then we will finish, almost finish with the baby grasshopper transition. Maybe you would have to go on the floor. And then another final our Hachindrasana. Go ahead and tuck your toes for your pyramid pose, which is much closer than your runner lunge, but the same position of the feet, back foot is 45-35 degrees, give it a good stretch and we prepare for gentle Arha Tundrasana transition. Team blocks on the floor going to help you so 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 much. Hold your hands on the ground, both of them, you don't have to progress here at all. I'm going to turn around a little bit so I can see you better and you can see me all the way here and go ahead and open up to the full Arhajindrasana when you're ready. Maybe you need to hold your both hands on the floor today. We're taking the hands back. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do my transitions nice and smooth and touchless with the other foot without touch. But anytime you're losing the balance, touch the ground and definitely, guys, start over again. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhalation. Exhalation. And go ahead and put your ankle right on top. Right on top. If you can't, Still catch the balance in your single-legged chair pose. This is totally normal. Just put your post feet on the ground and practice it that way. Let's give ourselves a little bit deeper squat. And we give a hug to our left today if that's available. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're ready to make a transition to the dancer. So grab your wrinkle anyway. It's available. And again, we come here to the map to our practice to become better, stronger, more flexible, 
maybe sculpt a little bit and tone, right? Yoga, it's not only stretching, that's a lot of power strengths. So don't get upset at all, treat your body well if something doesn't flow as you intended to do. We're gonna give it another try for the dancer. Take your time. This is it. And let's slowly hover that leg you use for a dancer all the way behind. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna move a little bit, try to set tame your feet on the same line. Maybe it's not as far away, but it's on the same line. And we're gonna give an extra stretch first. We will take our left hand towards the left foot across, right? Your left foot went behind, so you're gonna reach your left hand just to give it an extra stretch. Now, we're gonna switch the hand. We'll take the right hand and put it on the left foot. All you have to do is to squat, guys. I know it sounds easier than just to do it from the first time. It takes a little bit practice. But what you could do, you could sit down here, reach to your foot, maybe using your yoga strap, and then lift your hips up. Your baby grasshopper, your baby grasshopper today. We take another breath or two here, or another try or two, and let's do our best to make back to our Hachindrasana or half moon. This time, if you want, if you're ready, we're gonna catch up on the inhale and open up a little bit more. This is it. There. Come on back down, guys. Step back to over the front of your mat. I'm so, so, so proud of you. Reach halfway through. And let's all together fold forward. We're going to reach one more time. And step this time. Your push-up is totally optional. Upward dog. And downward facing dog. All right, we have a long flow to finish here. Take your time, guys. Rest in your downward facing dog. Or you can rest in your child pose. We have another two, three. Inhalations, exhalations. And then, guys, prepare to take your left leg up. If you follow me, your left is going up. And step forward right here for your runner lunge for your runner lunge remember we did that bind don't let me to forget this one you can put your knee back on the floor for this one again or you can give yourself a little try here go half and fold forward We will take our time, that we soft and extend it. Come on back up. And prepare guys to pivot to your warrior two. And do those arms. And gaze towards the left hand. All the way through. Both legs active for sure. Keep it working. And see if you can take your arm from the back over the inner thigh on the front or just behind your lower back. Keep on breathing. I know your legs on fire, my legs on fire too. And go ahead, start to extend slightly and see if you can take a little exalted more here. Or reverse. Come on back up. Undo your arms. We ready for Trikonasana. Triangle. We slide in gently through. Through the waistline. Once you feel there is no much room left in your waist. Use your chin, use the blocks. Use the floor. Make sure that you're able to feel good. Let's 
So you hold your hand on the block, on the chin, or on the floor. It's all good, guys. Try not to overly rotate the shoulder. The rotation only through the hips and the chest, lower back arm. Just following here. If you have a good balance, then close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. And slowly, gently make a transfer to the side stretch here. Side stretch. Make sure your hips not on the left too much. We're moving them back to the center. And forward, forward. Try to step a couple more. Hands to the front. This is it. Good. Take it. And before we go for the once practice, we're going to finish just a couple asanas, just like we did on other side. So remain, guys, the foot on the ground and try to stack your knee and hip one on top another. So we stretch here and we flow back forward. We stretch here and we flow back forward to your low bind. Let's do another one. Very good. And we're going to stop right here. That's not only going to give the rest of this front leg and get ready for the balance, but we also will stretch the quad for the good quality grasshopper. And if you do the arm hatch and dress in the bind, that's going to help as well. So your goal is here to lean off your knee. Stretching your quadricep. Lean forward, guys. It's not gonna feel really nice, and that's exactly where you should be. It's really sensitive stretch. Quadricep works a lot all day long, hopefully. We're not leading the sedentary lifestyle completely. Let's go ahead and let it go. And we find ourselves in the pyramid pose. Pose fit on a one line, the heel of the front, center of others, where the hips fold forward, guys. Slide the hips in and fold forward gently. This is good. Inspiration. Inspiration. Good stretches, guys. I'm going to turn around slightly towards you. Use the same hand on the floor than your foot. And we open up to the first Arhatyandrasana or Half Moon Asana. Taking our time. You can have your both hands on the floor. And let's slowly make transition to the standing position. Take your time. Again, I will do my best to flow through all of these standing asanas without touching the floor. We're doing our best, we're being kind to our body. Whether we achieve or exceed our expectations of ourselves, which we set for ourselves, or it didn't flow the way we intended, that's okay too. Go ahead and start to put your ankle on top right above the knee for the single legged like chair pose. Many times we much more forgiving and loving towards other people, even when they mess up or do a lot of things wrong. What do we normally say to people who we love? We don't say, oh my gosh, you're a terrible person. I don't like you anymore. You could do better. We do, that's okay, right? You can do better next time, but it was a still a good job. So we want to treat ourselves the same way. Many times we might more cruel to ourselves than to others. Give the hug to the leg and we're gonna be ready to our dancer. Pick up your ankle in your way. It was a catcher. You can give yourself a few tries, guys. Definitely, if you losing the balance, don't stop right there, please. And I know 
balances can be challenging, especially if we have some injuries or if we haven't practiced it for years, but it's an important part of our well-being. And let's give ourselves at least one more try. Inhalation. And all we would have to do right now is to hover the leg with doing the dancer all the way behind. Try to set your both feet, guys. I hold my breath and I just found it out, so don't hold your breath. Try to set your feet on one line, maybe not that far away from each other, but on one. We reach the right hand toward the right foot just to give it an extra little stretch. And then we're going to switch the hands and continue for the squat. Just a gentle squat up here. Mm -hmm. And this is your baby grasshopper today. Don't forget to let me know in the comments. I'm so excited always to read those. How did you do your baby grasshopper from the first time, from second time? Maybe you couldn't lift your bottom from the floor at all, and that's all good. We want to treat our body with respect, no matter what we could or couldn't do today. All right, guys, your left hand on the floor, your Arhachandrasana, a regular one, or the one with the hand bind. Breathe in, breathe out in. And let's slowly return back to the front of our mat and spread our feet wider. Time is flying so quickly. Come on down for your malasana. It's a great asana for transition and stretch the legs. So if you can reach the chest a little bit higher, that's beautiful. Take your time. And on exhalation, slowly return back on the floor. Let's go ahead and lay down. I can't let you go without your abs work on the power yoga practice on Friday, of course. So we're gonna take our legs up and just release one leg at a time. You only guys will release the leg as low as of course you can maintain your lower back on the floor. Very nice. For my intermediate and advanced, I know body is a little bit tired probably after the 50 minutes of the strong practice. Lift your shoulders guys off the ground if you can. Breathe. And just uh, one more time on each leg. We've got this. Very good. And one more, guys. Excellent. Go ahead and bend your knees and press your front part of your legs, your quadricep, towards your belly. Close your eyes, guys. Close your eyes. Let's extend the legs and send the legs to our halasana. If you're not practicing your full halasana, that's okay. Just do what you can. You don't even have to take your full two legs behind you. Let's slowly return back. And we will put our feet hips width apart. Hips width apart. Take a deep breath in. In an exhalation, lift the hips to the your right hand. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the nose. And vertebra by vertebra, release your hips on the ground. Take your arms slightly to the side and windshield thing your knees side to side simply. Just a couple movements for the lower back on each side. Let's do one more. And another one. Very good. 
and slowly, guys, take your pose, feet back on the floor, put your both feet together to the butt hakanasana for just a few breaths. Close your eyes and bring attention to your belly, expand your belly. In on exhalation, let everything who bothers you, any tension, any anxiety, leave your body for good. Inhalation through the nose, expand your belly. And on exhalation, bring your both knees together, let the air go. Bring attention to your heart, extend your legs. Make your body feel good. Let's take our both arms behind our head. Inhalation through the nose again, expand your belly, give yourself a beautiful internal or even external smile. Right now, let's say air go and let anything what doesn't serve you again, any anxiety, anger, discontent, dislikes, envy, frustration, let it all go. All it does, it keeps us one step away from health, from transformation, and from healing, from happiness, from loving and nurturing relationships, and from abundance in our lives. And with that, let's keep our eyes closed and slowly come on up, guys, to your seated position. Keep your eyes closed and bring your both hands up front of your heart. Look inside your heart. And let's set an intention. No matter what comes in our lives, we slow down, we take a breath, and we respond wisely. Respond wisely instead just simply reacting. Take a deep breath in, guys. In on escalation, open up your eyes. Bring your hands up front of your heart. I'm so grateful, guys, for each and every one of you. We're sharing the time together and we're sharing the energy together. Rest well, guys. Recover well. Smile with your heart. Share your smiles with others. And that smile might save someone like you. Stay.